All right, what's going on? Welcome to another YouTube. Today is Friday the 13th. Wow, actually it's Friday the 13th. I just thought about that. Uh, today's Friday the 13th. I just got done with my leg workout. Um, this is, uh, the beginning of this video is actually gonna be today, but the 13th, but the video that I'm really making is about my diet, nutrition, meal plan, everything like that, what I'm eating. I'm only making that tomorrow. But I wanted to show you that, you know, obviously what my physique looks like right now. So I figured I'd throw that at the beginning of the video. If you don't care about the meal preps, our meal plan all that stuff then the only part that you'll care about is the beginning so this is basically it but it's late it's like 9 almost 9 30 here i just finished legs if you want to know the leg workout that i actually did it's the last youtube that i posted the mastering leg day video it's the exact same workout the only difference is i didn't do hack squats i did a hoist leg press instead but kind of like a hack squat variation so that's the only difference but basically i'm about to set up my phone my tripod right here, uh, my, so my phone and my tripod, I'm gonna record, you know, show you what my physique looks like, but I'm also gonna get my update video for Ray. I'm also probably gonna show you what I do in the morning for fasted check-ins, cause I was supposed to do it today, but I didn't do it, I wanted to save it for the video, so I'll probably throw it in there after this part in the morning tomorrow. So let's go ahead and see what my physique's looking like post leg day. I have a really good pump, my legs feel good. I feel full, um, but yeah, we'll see. So we are done, finished up the workout, finished up the posing. I actually got caught in a long conversation with a random guy that walked into the posing room um, right as I was finishing up the video. And we just talked about uh, everything, man, about you know calculating your caloric intake, about what, what I thought about Arnold and his young ages, if he did steroids, all these things. And I, I, I love talking about that stuff. If you ever see me, and you ever catch me in public or whatever and you want to just chat about fitness and my thoughts on all these things dude i will chat with you for hours because i absolutely love talking about this stuff but yeah so the next clip is literally going to be me first thing in the morning when i go to do my fasted check-ins uh, but i'm gonna head home right now i believe i have another meal two more meals actually so i'm gonna be up pretty late tonight getting those two meals in because we got to do what it takes to get those meals in so i will catch you in the morning all right what's going on it is officially the next morning it's a little bright right there but it's the next morning and i just woke up it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon i did not mean to wake up this late at all um but i got some good sleep so i'm not mad um 
However, first thing I do in the morning is do check-ins and usually I do them at 10 o'clock in the morning because 10 o'clock is when the light hits the shed like perfectly. But now it's 12 o'clock and the light's not hitting the shed so perfectly. So it's, it is what it is, but I'm gonna do it in the exact same spot. There's gonna be a little bit of shadowing on me and stuff. It is what it is, but I'm, um, that just kind of happens. I did weigh myself, I'll throw it up right here, but I weighed myself and I weighed this morning 194.6 pounds. I'm really happy about that. Um, obviously my weight, I said the other day, was like 195. So anywhere between you know 194, 195 is just where I guess I'm sitting, depending on you know what I eat and how I feel or whatever. So, uh, but yeah, I'll show you kind of what I do for the check-ins and then we'll get started with this whole day of meals. So that's it. That's basically what I do every Friday or Saturday morning. I usually do it on Fridays, um, but those are what I would consider fasted check-ins. All that means is that when you wake up, you get out of bed, you go take a piss, you go take a shit, and then you immediately come and you take pictures. Um, that's when your physique is gonna be its more, most like real, meaning you have no pump, you don't, you know, you don't look good, you're usually flat, you haven't had any food in your system yet. So it's a really great look for your coach or whoever, even just for yourself to document, okay, this is how I really look, not how I look with a pump or post-workout, yada, yada, yada. So next, we're gonna show you the first meal of the day. Um, and the first meal of the day is just eggs and rice. All right, so one of the first things I do in the morning before I get uh, this first meal in, and I just started doing it again, but I used to do it all the time, was you would drink 20 ounces, or this is technically 44 ounces, but a big ass cup of water. You take some Celtic salt or Himalayan salt. I love this Celtic salt. You can get it at Whole Foods. Um, you can get it online as well, but it's cheapest at Whole Foods. Um, but you basically take a big pinch of salt, you throw it inside of the water, and then you eat about 20 grams, 30 grams of pumpkin seeds. If you don't know, pumpkin seeds are actually a natural parasite remover, so they'll help get rid of parasites in your body naturally. And usually they make you have to have a bowel movement pretty quickly in the morning or afternoon. Um, but I love pumpkin seeds. They're really, really great. Great source of fat. If you don't, haven't tried a pumpkin seed, try them. I like the salted and roasted versions. All right, so the first meal of the day is pretty simple. Like I said, it's just eggs. I use these uh, huevos, 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 large brown eggs. Are you stupid or something? All right, so for my first meal, I usually like to uh, put, instead of oil into the pan, I will put a half t a tablespoon or whatever, just a little bit of butter. I like butter. I think that it's not harmful in any way. Obviously, if you can get pasture-raised butter, that's the best way to go. Uh, organic butter, that's the best way to go. But I usually put it in my pan, let it kind of use, use it instead of oil, and then it makes my eggs taste real nice and buttery too, so that's always a W. I get my rice. I usually weigh out my rice, um, you know, like I said, I pre-made this rice, so you just put it in, put it on the scale, 
and then go warm it up in the microwave. Not too complicated of a meal. Let the eggs cook. I cook them pretty quickly, try to at least. And then yeah, that is my first meal of the day. Uh, like I said, it's just a simple six whole eggs, 300 grams of rice with the 20 to 30 grams of pumpkin seeds. And that is meal one. So the macros I'll probably throw up right here somewhere. Um, but the macros, those are the macros for the meal one. And this is what I eat meal one. I usually douse this thing with some more Celtic salt because I love this stuff. I live by this. I, eat, I use this on every meal. Every glass of water that I drink, I put it in there. Even when I go to the gym, I put it in there. If you haven't, look up Celtic salt. Look up the benefits. Look up, you know, how you need electrolytes in your water. I just think it's too beneficial. All right, so that's a meal one completely finished. I'm actually now going to chill. I'm going to play some. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, they just dropped the beta, so I don't, I don't have PlayStation, so I haven't been able to get into it. So I'm about to play it right now, and then here in probably the next two hours, I'll eat my second meal and show you what that looks like. All right, so now we're going for meal two. Meal two is just changed recently for me, but I'm probably gonna change it back to what it was, but for right now, what I'm currently doing, I'm doing steak and rice. Uh, I actually use the steak that I get sent by my meal prep company. So fuel meals, shout out to them. Uh, if you ever want to get any fuel meals, they really are great. My favorite, my favorite by far is the turkey meatballs and I will be eating this for meal uh, three. But this is my favorite meal for meal two and it's just steak. So for this meal, we're gonna be doing 200 grams of sirloin steak and we're gonna be doing 300 grams of rice. So we're gonna take our steak as you can see here I'm just gonna throw it on the scale and then we will see I think that's about 200 yeah 190 200 and 206 200 grams of protein and I like this steak as well I think it's really good too it's from field meals like I mentioned Next, we're gonna add the rice. Take the rice, like we did earlier. Here, grab a spoon real quick. We'll weigh out 300 grams again. So for basically all of the rice meal, it's gonna be 300 grams of jasmine white rice. So we got our steak, we got our rice. Yeah, it's done good. So you always hear a lot of people talk about so you always hear a lot of people talk about how beef has many benefits and things like that, and I do believe so. Um, it's full of natural minerals like zinc, iron, potassium, magnesium, and these are all things that are essential to muscle growth. So I think that steak is a great source of protein. Um, if you can't get steak, just try and get the leanest cuts of beef that you can get. I think that's the most important part. So for this meal, we're going to have steak and the rice, and basically I just want to cook it in a skillet. I put a little bit of water in the bottom, and then I just heat it up at a low, medium temperature, nothing crazy. And then I probably like mix it around one time. Once I see like all the brown is going away, or all the red is going away, and it's starting to turn brown, then I flip it and then let the other side get, I think I let my fog, lens fog up. Uh, let the other side get cooked as well. And then I just throw the rice inside the oh, microwave. If I can open it with one finger. Throw the rice inside the microwave. Heat that up and then that'll be good to go. So. And then one of the things I like to add to my steak and rice is I love adding coconut aminos. You might have seen these before. I mention them all the time. They're great. They're a soy sauce alternative. Um, they're organic. They have 270 gram milligrams of sodium and four grams of carbs per one tablespoon. But I'm gonna tell you, I just on top of mine, so I don't think about it. It's I like it. It's really good. And like I said, it's a soy-free alternative. So yeah, it's a lot better. Coconut Secret, not coconut, no, the bar, Miss Bars or whatever. This, this one is way better. Just take it, drain all to one side, pull it to the other side. And just 
strap on the boat. Now, do I know if this is the best method to do this? No, I don't. But it works for me. That's how I like it. And it's very good, very yummy. And like I said, I'm gonna add the coconut aminos. So as you can see, we got the coconut aminos on there. Very nice. And that is gonna be meal number two. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the macros like right here somewhere. Um, and that is basically what I eat for meal number two. I don't add anything else to it. I put some salt on it, you know, my Celtic salt, love that. Throw that on there and then I eat that and then I wait. That's usually my pre-workout meal. That's what I usually will eat. And then I'll have like, you know, my beetroot and then I'll head straight to the gym and train. That's how I've been trying to do it recently is to get two meals in before I go train. And then if I choose to go train late at night um, for a video or for anything, I usually will try and get three meals in. But today's just a rest day. I'm actually not going to the gym. Um, so I just still gotta eat my meals on. So next meal will be in the next couple of hours. All right, it's a little bit later in the evening now and I'm ready to eat meal number three. This is my favorite meal of the day. It's my post-workout meal, but it's my favorite meal um, because this is the turkey meatball meal. So we got our turkey meatballs, we got our rice, and we're gonna use this pasta sauce. Um, I love this pasta stuff. If you look at the ingredients, the ingredients literally say Italian um, whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onions, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, oregano. That's it. That's all that's in this. So try and again, always look at ingredients. Look what's in your going in, you know, your body. It, it, it makes a big difference to me. I feel better. I feel like I have better energy from consuming things that are good for me and, and truly are good for me. So the less ingredients are always better. If it's got like 50 ingredients and you don't even know how to pronounce or read it, then it's probably not the best idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this meal together, show you what that looks like. All right, so as you can see right there, we've got 200 grams, 205 grams of turkey meatballs. Um, I cut them up in those little ways just so they heat up better and they're not as cool on the inside because the, the meatball is a pretty decent size. So when you heat it up, it's just always usually cold on the middle um, and you have to heat it and overcook it, whatever. So I just cut it up, makes it a lot easier. Then we got our 300 grams of white rice. Got my 300 grams of white rice and that's it. That's the meal. I put the tomato sauce on after I heat it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up. I usually just cook it for like about two minutes because now that I added 300 grams of rice, it takes a little bit longer to cool, heat up. But yeah, that is meal number three. Uh, we'll just add the tomato sauce, pasta, marinara sauce, whatever, to it afterwards. And then that is it. This is one of my favorite meals. I love the way the meatballs are seasoned. And these are meatballs are provided to me by my sponsor, like I mentioned earlier. I just think they're so good. If you haven't tried them, I mean, you should. Um, but if you can't, it is what it is. Not really. So just, just turkey meatballs. Make them. They're fire. So, and, and people ask me why turkey over chicken. I just think that chicken's a dirty bird. And a lot of times chicken just doesn't sit well on my stomach. It doesn't make me feel very good. So I don't really want to consume things that don't make me feel like my best. And these turkey meatballs, I really enjoy the way they taste. I can eat them relentlessly. And yeah, and they make me feel fine. No problems whatsoever. You know, you gotta be consistent with the meals. So you might as well do what you enjoy. And, and this pasta sauce is just because I enjoy the way that it tastes with it. I can eat it without the pasta sauce, but yeah. I don't usually use seasonings of any kind. I, I, I'm pretty bad about that. I'm no master chef and I, I want to learn how to season things and, you know, make it all, you know, beautiful or whatever, but I'm a simple, simple human being. And so for me, if it works, it works. I'm not really going to cry about it. It doesn't bother me to eat the meals the way I do every single day. So you can do it how you choose. I'm going to do it how I choose. And as long as it works, it works. But I'm going to eat this. It's about to be done. All right. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. That is meal number three. That is usually my post-workout meal, the one I eat immediately when I get back from the gym. I'm going to add some salt to it, like always, and eat it just like that. So the I only did about two spoonfuls, like a two big spoonfuls of that pasta sauce. And I don't track the pasta sauce, but for this video, I will track the pasta sauce. 
just because. So the macros for this uh, meal are gonna be right here. These are the macros and yeah, it's a really good meal. Simple, effective, and that's meal number three. So I just finished my meal um, and I forgot that I wanted to show you something that I just started taking and I really love. So these, those are phenomenal, excuse me. Um, they're digestive enzymes and man, when I tell you, like these are really, really good. And, and I'm not sponsored, endorsed, anything. But they're really, really good. And I noticed that they just started selling them at uh, Walmart. So this brand, Guru Nanda, if you look up his website and you look at all his products, his products are really amazing. We actually have his mouthwash. We use his mouthwash and I'm going to buy his um, oil pooling as well because his products are super good. They're, mo they're usually organic or mostly organic. And then the ingredients are all natural. So this is something where it's like, there's no bad ingredients in here. This is just such good, healthy digestive enzyme. So figured I'd give you a recommendation. I'm gonna take this right now. I usually take it after my third meal. All right, it's time for the last meal of the night. I actually just passed out for like a couple of hours. I watched the, the I finished the USC game and man, I just was tired. I passed out, woke up. It's like 12 o'clock at night now, but I still gotta get my last meal in. So my last meal of the day is really simple. It's just steak sirloin, 200 grams. Shout out to Fuel Meals again. And then we're gonna be doing, pairing it with some delicious sweet potato. Um, so I do about 400 grams of sweet potato. This is about the equivalent of what 300 grams of rice would be. So it's pretty much this whole packet too, um, with a little bit left over. I think it's gonna be like two, 22 i mean 420 or 430 and then yeah that's pretty much the meal i add some olive oil to it some um extra virgin olive oil and then i add my coconut aminos to it salt pepper and that is the last meal so i'll show you what that looks like cooked i cook the same way on the stove with a little bit of water in the skillet as i did the other meal and then i just heat up the sweet potato and the microwave there you go 410 grams of sweet potato and now 200 grams of steak. Water's boiling. It's time to throw that steak on there. Simple, simple enough to turn it down to move it around a little bit. And that is going to be meal number four. All right, and that's it. Meal's done, complete. Added some of the coconut aminos, got olive oil, and put some cinnamon. Put some cinnamon on there. So I'm excited to eat this. It's the last meal of the night, though. And as we always do, the current macros for that meal are going to be right here. Um, yeah, this is the meal. Again, I think beef is a great uh, protein source for when I'm trying to gain weight or when you're trying to get bigger. I think red meat is really great. So I wanted to do two meals of red meat. Um, a day. I'll probably switch back to the turkey soon, like I said, but this is my last meal of the day. And I enjoy sweet potato. It acts as a really great like fiber as well. So it helps move through my system pretty easily. Probably tomorrow I'll take a nice little, you know, bowel movement, which is always a W. But that's all the meals. Uh, the macros for all of the meals and everything combined. Um, and then the caloric intake is going to be right here as well. So this is what the total calories for a whole day of eating looks like and roughly the proteins, fats, and carbs. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get bigger. I've put on about 20 pounds so far. So I'm just looking to put on about 20 more. Um, I appreciate it. Hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed everything about it. I'm going to try and get better always, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.